Back to the 22nd U.S. Bar Table Championships presented by Q Sports International. And we are just about ready here to lag. Lag from the other side for the cameras. Thank you. <laughs> and I have a lag at the other side there because of the cameras. But nevertheless, this is our third place match. Last match of the evening. I'll get you up to date on how we got here as we get underway. But it's... Uh, Skyler and Edgy, I'm sure you're familiar by now with both of them. Edgy just knocked Shane Van Boning out of the tournament. He is no longer the defending champion. He finishes fourth. And I got my buddy Scott the Freezer back with me here in the booth for this last match of the night. The Freezer. I feel like I'm frostbit right now. This is going to be good. Yeah, I, uh, I really like Edgy's pace, the way he plays. He's got a great rhythm. Yeah. You know, he's very decisive, and then he just gets uh, down I and truly shoots. I really think this match is a coin flip. I think yeah. that the final eight players is all coin flips most of the time. You know, whoever gets the better of it on the break right. and gets the breaks. Right. And sometimes, as you know better than probably anybody, when it's your turn to win, it happens. You're going to win no it, matter what it, you do. It, it happens. That's right. Sometimes it's just destiny. Well, he made a ball. I don't like what he's doing with his cue ball. He keeps drawing it back a little bit versus killing it in the center. Look what he would have had. Mm -hmm. But uh, his cue ball last match kept going up there. I've noticed that. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. Skyler's getting to the table this game. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a real good match too. All these matches are good. You don't see too much bad play on these bar tables, do you, from these guys? Heck no. <coughs> it's very surgical like out there, Absolutely. you know. Especially when you get to eight there's, ball. There's, but there's, but even ten ball. Right. There, there's, I've said this to people, people say, ah, oh, bar tables, uh, you know, this, listen, I grew up on a bar table, there is a talent to a bar table, much different than a big table, but there's a talent to it, anybody can play good bar table, but to play perfect bar table, it, it takes a special talent, and, and these guys all play pretty much perfect bar table, and, and trust me, there's a lot to it, and you yeah. know that, yeah. You've got a, you've got so less room absolutely to maneuver, and you're going to get more clusters. That word surgical is a good word. It, that, that's kind of like what you're doing. Well, it's not bad because he left him a lot of distance. I wouldn't be surprised to see him take a cut at this in the left pocket because the cue ball is going to stop the four. The four ball is going to stop the cue ball right there. He could play the four. Play the carom on the floor. These pockets are big. Uh, they're, they're better to play caroms on, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I think like if he was maybe a I little like further off the rail, maybe. I like cutting it. But I, I like cutting I the one. He can get a shot. If yeah, he makes it. I agree. And this kid shoots straighter than the devil. Yeah, I think he's going to hit the left half of the four ball. And maybe take him to and the other side of the deuce. Right. Uh, he probably oh, right at the it. deuce. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> That's what he's going to do. He's going to play this shot. This is a tough opening shot, isn't it, Ken? Sure it is. This might set the tone right here. Sometimes just a shot like this. Yeah, um, he was yeah. right there for the for the two as well. Yeah, but it was uh, a tough shot. It was a tough shot. I mean, that's, you know, you might make that six out of ten if right. you were doing good. All right. As you said, the, the first game, especially of a match of this importance, it really can set the tone for the whole match. Yes, it can. It, 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 you know, I don't think people tend to give it uh, as much importance as it really warrants. He's going to play it in the bottom right-hand corner, and he's going to draw below the four or attempt to. Yeah, I think he can miss the four. Jeez, not only did he miss it, <laughs> he got below it. He's yeah. good. Yeah, the three goes. Yep, he is good here. 
That was a big shot, like like you said, and, and I said set the tone. You know, that's a big shot, Skyler shot. If he makes that shot, he's got a shot on the two, and he's feeling real good. Shots like that can set the tone mentally. Right. But it's, it's, a, it's a nice thing. I do like the alternate break format, Kim. Everybody gets a chance at the table. You know, we hear that a lot, even on the big table events. That we, yeah. that, and you know, you, you always get the people that will, will, to the day they die, say, oh. "I want to see packages." That's oh, why I come to these tables. I, look, we all do, but that's more boring to me. I agree. There's than more than watching a more great this. offense combined with great defense right. and and using your entire skill set. Right. Yeah, um, Geronimo has got the speed down really well. Yeah, his cue ball, he's moving it. He's moving it perfectly. Has he got enough angle to swing out? It's kind of funny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he didn't get it. He's probably going to get good. there. He's good. You can create it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And again, smaller table. Create angles. Cut, cut shots aren't as difficult. come up and play it inside but he's fine well, uh, I think he wanted to just get straight in on the corner shoot and stop yeah all I'm saying is he didn't really have to do all that with the cue ball right Should have just followed it up but he may have just had more comfort sure. within his own game shooting it that sure. way and we all tend to shoot what we're comfortable with that gives right. us you know the confidence that we need to make the shot Just kill it right there. No, no, he didn't. One nothing, Geronimo. It's the kid's break. Let's, let's see how he hits him. He's been practicing the break. I've been talking to him a little bit about the break, Kenny, in our match when he and I played. I, I s almost snuck up and got him, but he started hitting the balls way too hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the two, the second row balls are going way long on mm -hmm. the side. That's right. And I say you got to back off. That's little. right. Yeah. And uh, so he, he worked on it. And he, he, I was just watching him practice before they started, and he was making both balls on the side. Uh, and that's what he's trying to do, folks. He's trying to make the, the seven ball, the top two balls below the one, the seven and the four mm -hmm. in the side pocket, four in the right-hand right. side pocket, seven in the other, and the cue ball somewhere in the center to top right. half the table. And the one will be in the kitchen somewhere right. most of the time. Now, it all depends on how square you hit the one yeah. as to the reactions you're going to get off the off the second balls. Let's get the over the other camera maybe from Andy if we can on the break here. There we go. Uh, he missed and he both side balls. Yeah. He made the six. And the three. Okay. And then the seven hung up on the side. He's got a real steep angle here. And he's going yeah, away he from the two, too. He's got to elect to play it in the top left, yep. but where's the cue ball going to go? I almost think it's got to hit both both long rails and bounce out somewhere where the five and nine are. Because the two's really not that difficult from yeah. where the five and nine are. I, I know you got traffic, He's but you can't like you that. can't you can't slow roll this. You risk a skid. You can't slow roll it and hold it anyway right. on these tables. Right, and. You don't want to keep looking at that seven ball. If it was in a little different position on the side, he might be able to do something there. This isn't. This is not playing yeah. easy at all. He wants to stay away from the five and ten. Yeah, but that. so that's about where he just put his tip. This that's is about, about as good as, as good as he's going to get, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, he'll just have to deal with the, the long cut shot. But sometimes you, all you can do is take what the table's going to allow you. No English here. No, you just want to pocket the ball. He made a great shot just pocketing yep. the ball. He and couldn't have hit that any better. Jeez, it kept going. Did it, it just kept going and going. 
I think it hooked him. If it did, it's not by much. And well, he might be able to twirl it, but that's going to make it play tougher for, for the well, next ball. Well, twirling it, he's going away from the floor. Right, he wants to right. go towards he, it with inside. That's right. the only way to shoot this. Yeah, but it, can he? Can well, he shoot it with inside? We'll know in yes a second. He can. I guess he can. No, he's using outside, can he? Is he going all the way around? He's coming up and down. Needs a good rub here. It's going to work. I think it, it passes the eight. Oh, yeah. Right, he's going to send the cue ball loose again. I like this overhead view most of the time. It's uh, it's much easier, right? It's much easier to tell exactly what's going Well, it is, it is especially for us. You know, um, we're at a 45-degree angle from the table. We're five feet above it. And, and it's 30, very 30 feet from and it. And 30 feet from it. Yeah, it's very deceiving. I bet he plays the five in the right-hand side pocket. Oh, wow. He's going to play it in the corner. <laughs> wow, good shot. Yeah, that I think he could hold it. That was well thought out. He seems to get the job done, Kenny. He's always getting out. For his age, he's very poised. He's a... Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you know, it, it, the message that I receive when I watch him play is that he's not afraid of any shot. No, he's not. And that's and that's he's, the message he puts out. Yeah. There's nothing that he is going to make him squirm. And he's taken on some really difficult shots this week so far. All right, well, we're on serve here at one to one. Final match of the evening in the uh, second to the last match in the 10 ball division here. We're going to have a new champion, that's for sure. Edgy just took care of Mr. Van Boning. He winds up in fourth place. The loser here winds up third, and the winner has a date at 5.30 tomorrow night with Jeffrey Ignacio. And you only got to beat him two sets. You have nothing serious. Nah. But we'll have that for you, and we're going to come on the air tomorrow at 1 o'clock Pacific with the nine ball division getting underway. Last count I got was about 130 odd players had signed up and sign ups are still open till about noon tomorrow. So we'll pick up a few more. Watch his cue ball here. Yeah, okay. See? Yeah, he's he hitting it below it center. Yeah, he keeps popping it back. He got away with this. It looked like he was going to scratch. He can play the one right off the floor into the left, right-hand side pocket, yeah, drawing the cue ball over. And I think here, the two, he? I think the two will go by the three and the eight. Yeah, I mean he can draw the cue ball over to this side. Right, but I mean, should he be unable to do that? It's not like the two has only the one pocket. He's got the right angle though to come over to the short side of the two. Do He's you, do, you the one off the floor. do you think he can hit the one fat enough to get over there behind the two? That's Okay, he's playing the four. It's wired, too. So now well, this is better the because the one better. sits in front of the right. side. Absolutely. He can play position yeah, off the one this is Yeah, this is much better. Whoa. Oh, boy. Is he going to get out? Oh, wow, he got away with that. Yeah, he did. Skyler shaking his head. Let a danger written all over it. Ball kept creeping. I wonder if he's going to just kill this and play oh, the two in the, the side. side. Yes. Nice That's shot. a little bit strong, but I'll be all right. I wanted to be a little straighter. Looks like he can miss the he's, three. He's good. Yeah, here, as long he's as he can miss the three. with massive inside English. Yeah, he's going to have to play to 5'8". 
And then less than wants to go five twice eight. across. Five eight combo. Roll this three in nice and easy. You think he can stay there? Oh yeah. Okay. Looked a little steeper on the monitor maybe than it really is. Yeah, he, I don't know what he's wondering if he wants to come off the eight or not here. Yeah, you were right, he could hold it. Inside English here. Oh, I didn't know that ball passed. Yeah, he took a look at it before he shot the five. And that is the perfect place to be to shoot the eight. Just slide down the long rail here. I th and maybe he's too thin. Maybe he'll have to come on the other side of the ten. I think he can slide he it down. down. Yeah. Broken run out. Yeah, I think you're right, though. If he would drop his tip about one tip's worth right. on the cue ball on his break, I think that would solve the uh, cue ball control problem and still give him the same result on the on, right. the, ra on the layout. But see, this is another aspect of the advocates for the alternate break. The pressure goes game to game to the oh, breaker absolutely. when you're kind of on serve like absolutely. this. You've, you've got to win when it's your break. Absolutely. Because you can't you can't rely on winning you when it's the other guy's break. Other, other person making mistake. exactly right. It's all about the speed here. If he hits at the right speed, he can pocket the two balls on the side, or at least one of them. He hit it softer, four. but the got four. He, got, he didn't get the four. He hit it too soft. Oh, it's he a, took too much off. It's a killer. He's got his, he had the cue ball in perfect position too. It's, it's right where you want the cue ball to be. Can't see here, but I think it passes the six. Yeah, I get the impression it With does too. With a perfect two. angle too, to come over for the two. Yeah. He really gets through the cue ball nice, Scott. You know, I really like yes, this Q-tip acceleration, the way he goes through the ball with a what what appears to be a very effortless soft stroke but he gets a lot out of it and it's all timing pretty self-explanatory here mm -hmm. You know, one thing I've observed about Skyler, and I've seen him play quite a bit the last two or three years and a lot in the TV arenas, but what I do respect greatly about it, about him, is when it's not his turn, when he's in his chair, he has all his attention on the table, oh and yeah. he's watching Absolutely. what's happening, and I see so many players that really don't do that, and I think it's, I think you can learn during your match and also pick up on some things that might help you. But the bottom line is I want to keep my eyes on my opponent in case he fouls. Sure. Well, he's 50 yard line again here. I think he wants yeah, to he play it in the play side. It the I know he can. Yeah, that's what he called. Draw out here with a little low right. Good to go. Just 
definitely frustrating in, in Skyler's shoes. I know, I know what it's like to break dry, <laughs> uh, and and knowing that the guy's going to run out and it's his break the next time, you know. So it, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's you it's break a dry, help, it's helpless it's feeling, very helpless feeling. It's like a two-game penalty to break dry. And sitting in that chair, it's it's. Well, that could have been a lot better. It's okay. Yeah, I know it's okay, but still. Two or three more inches makes this play much simpler. Never go wrong with center table. But you're right. I guess you. I guess you could have drawn it back several several inches further out. That ball skid, skid. It, it did skid. Yeah, it that did. Ball skid. Yeah, it turned. A mile. It turned over bad. I watched it. Yeah, you could see it. Wow. Wow. I, you could see that, right? Yeah, I, I mean, could I could clearly absolutely see it. see it. You could see the blue stripe turn over. Mm -hmm. yeah, very unnatural reaction to the cue ball. Yeah, Skyler shaking his head like he didn't earn that one. And Edgy's got a little grin on his face. That, that well, that's uh, as much as oh much man, as tough. as much as you know. Um, you don't like to. It point does. fingers or whatever, you know, Edgy put himself in a position right. where a skid was, was possible. possible because he came up so Absolutely. short on the 10. Absolutely. It, it uh, turned out to be major. Um, because usually on a shot like that, you know, you're going to give that a nice little low right pop, you know, to course. rail the cue ball out nice and safe and all of that. And because of the thinness of that cut, I think he kind of backed off a little. And it just grabbed and, and turned I, over. I don't see these Cyclops balls skidding too much. And, and, and I wish Greg Sullivan could explain it. I'm not real good at the scientifics of it. But the resin is harder on these balls, folks. So you can play with them all day, and they look like they're brand new practically. Uh, which, obviously, if they don't collect dust and dirt as much, it's going to reduce the, the, the fibers and the dirt on the ball when they make contact. So they don't ski, skid a lot. And, and there's been some debate about it, but uh, I play with these balls daily in my pool room, and I love them. So, but that all came down to the angle he had, probably. And you know, this combine that with the speed of the shot. Obviously, it's not supposed to skid. No. But it it did, and it had a lot to do with the angle, the speed of the shot, maybe a little bit of a, a punchy stroke. Did you see the last match that Skyler played where he the nine me. ball skidded on, on basically a straight in shot and it skidded so bad it went into the middle diamond? He told me that and he, yeah. he showed me the shot. It was Look unbelievable. At this. Look at this now. Oh boy. This ball just sprung right off the rail and that's what Skyler just went told over, told to another guy on the rail. He said that ball just sprung right off. It's getting humid in here. Well. We're now into, you know, three solid days of continual play on this table. There's maybe 50 people around the arena, too. Uh, I, I, I recommend the table gets cleaned I, I by tomorrow. It's cleaned every night. Is it? It's cleaned every night. And actually, after the last match, uh -huh. I went out with the cloth and wiped it down, and I wiped off the balls. I guess there's just no getting away from it, huh, when you're playing all day. I, yeah, I, I, I just think it's just, you know, all right. Well. Something that you can't you can't predict and you sure. can't prevent. He's got the five on the side. Yeah. Want to hit it firm enough to send that three down here though. Good shot. Well, now this is just a little bit touchy here. You come around too yeah. Else. I think you got to come around the eight ten. Not a lot of English. No, you're right. You don't want to hit that 10. Right. He stayed clear of that. Mm -hmm. He's got a nice angle, too. He's good here. Yeah, nice angle. Wow. Wow. What a turn of events. 10 ball skid. The skid, the and then the hook. And then the hook. And there's... Two games right there. It could nice. easily be five-one. Uh, yeah, it's a, you know it's a instead bigger of three-two than that. Absolutely. Well, four-one at least. 
I mean, wow, that's a huge turnaround. Well, you want to hit this with outside English. Jeez. Well, what a turn of events. And you've got a feel for Geronimo right now, uh, right? Oh, yeah. I uh, mean, the ball skid. Uh, I mean, he, he was playing really well up until that point, and then the then the ball bounce springs off, and he gets snookered. Uh, I mean, it's that's pretty cold. Not only is it cold, but you got to fade all that sitting over there in the electric chair. You're right. I mean, you're you got to you know. And your man's coming up to break now, and right. he's got the lead. Right. Versus. And, and if something weird happens on you know this mm -hmm. rack that goes in Skyler's favor, and it's kind of one more twist of the knife in Absolutely. poor Geronimo's heart. That's the unique aspect of our sport. There's nothing else like it because this is the only game where you can not compete. I mean, you can compete but not get a chance to play and lose. Well, that's why the alternate break format is big. Exactly. And the more top players I talk to, the, the more they like it. I've been on both ends. Nobody wants to sit there and watch a guy run 60 racks. Or, yeah. you know. Right. All right. He hit them a little firmer. He did. And the cue ball ended up okay. Watch the six. It, all right. Well, you, come on. Keep your spirits up, Skyler. You can't uh, You can't get dejected. It's at this stage of this important of a match. I know it is. Yeah, I mean, when you're up there and you're playing all day, it, it, gets, it gets to wearing on you. Well, it, little it stuff does. like this happens. But, but you're, you're but, right, of but, course. But, but th this is how... Good players become great oh, players. Yeah, but this kid's a champion. He, he, he just He's just showing emotion. It's not getting to him, I don't think. He doesn't make really any mistakes. He's not going to, like, come up here and crumble. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't, wasn't uh, what I was attempting to say. I'm just saying it's, uh, you know, it's just hard to fight the demons. Of course. It sure is. <laughs> I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Well, he, Kenny, he's got to push here. Yeah, there. but you know where I'm, you got to push. You got to push the cue ball down in the bottom right corner somewhere. You got to push for it for a kick maybe here. How about just pushing it be behind the nine? Mm, no, you, he wants to. He should. I think he should. He should play the cue ball one, two, to like this. I, I wish we had a. Uh, yeah, tell us, Mm-hmm. I'd, well, like, I'd like to put him on the bottom rail in the right corner. Yeah, but if you do that, Scott, he's going to put you behind the four ball. Well, you got to take that chance. I mean, I if think you, you can find. A, distance, I think you can find a better place to push, or, or you don't want to leave him a shot. Well, well then I moved pretty Tie good. something up. It's, he's not guaranteed to put him behind the four with that distance. Well, no, he's not at all. Oh, he could see the ball. I mean, he could k kick it like from there. I didn't know he could do that. I didn't either. He actually did pretty well with it. I mean, it's not like Edgy's not going to hit this ball. He may even make it. I don't know if he can go real first. Mm. Yeah, he can. He's going to go real first. He's going to draw this. Yeah, off the you rail. have to draw to shorten it up. Oh, wow. Well, I can bet you one shot right here. And it's not going to be safe. He's banking cross, cross side. side. This kid can bank if you guys didn't know. 20 in a row, Derby. Yeah, well, can he get the cue ball around the six and the nine, though, if he banks it? Okay. He's just gonna draw it out. You just draw it right out of the out of the corner there. Can't hit it too hard. Yeah, draw it out two rails. Okay, right. I thought I thought he had a bigger angle than right.
Kenny, this has been a really, uh, really interesting match so far, right? And the last one never fails, huh? To uh, huh. yeah, you go two and a half days with no no drama, right. and then every match, it's every drama. game, you have no idea what's going to happen. Right? Yeah. If you know, if you're a, a real romanticist here, I mean, uh, you'd like to see Skyler get another crack at Jeff just based on the way that match ended. Oh, he Skyler. wants it for sure. Right, right. So you'd like to see that happen. So he might have a chance at some redemption because he well, maybe got a real, real bad, bad kick on that cue ball going in. But um, maybe that was the man up above when, when uh, Geronimo skid that the ten ball. You know, could be. And then the boing on the cue ball, the hook on the floor. Right. All right, well, this is the point in the match where things will either start to get very interesting or it's going to be over in the next 10, 15 minutes. Because Skyler now has the two-game lead. As long as he wins on his break for three more times, he cannot be caught. So Edgy needs to break and run or win this rack somehow, and then he's got to win on Skyler's break. I'd like to, once again, say thanks to OB for being the official cue of the U.S. Bar Cable Championship and Kamui the official tip right here at the USBTC. Boy, the cue ball just keeps going straight back. Well, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, I would bet that he plays the combination. He's an aggressive player. It's... If he can it's roll the cue ball behind the night, he just don't want to play safe against yeah. these guys. That's the no, they That's kick the too good. They do. And they kick you safe back. And, you know, if he takes on the combination, Scott, it's almost like the game ball. That's exactly right. I mean, when you've got a chance, he's, he's playing safe. Well, well, he executed it very well, but looky here. No, that's not dead. I no, think, I think it, it's it in is from the bottom side. Well, it is from Absolutely there, but right, right now it's past, just past the diamond. Trust me, he didn't want it on the 10 like that. Look at his face. Uh -huh. uh, I promise you. Yeah. Being a good player, you don't want those two balls that close. No. But he's got him blocked real well. I, I, don't, I don't see any path right now where he can hit the one ball. The, he can't come two rails because the four is in the way. Straight up and down, the three's in the way. This is a, uh, yeah, he, he, he hit may, it real good. I mean, would would he be so bold as to simply take a foul, and hit another ball, and break him up? Like bank the seven into Yeah, them? that would be it. I mean, either way, is suicide. Yeah, but if you don't hit this one ball, you're racking him up. That's right. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's going to bank think, the 7 I think into you bank the 7 into the 10-1 and, and, and try to tie the 7 up with the 10. He completely tied off or uh, shut off all angles to this one ball. Yeah. This is the, oh, oh. That. oh, he's trying he to block the hard? pocket. He's trying to block he the pocket. block the pocket. Yeah. Very, very smart. Smart. He didn't, yeah, we didn't even think of that. He didn't have to break it up as long as he blocked the pocket. Very smart. But Not only blocked the pocket, he made the seven tougher. Yeah, but he's I also. I just learned a shot. Yeah, that, me too. I mean, that I never would have occurred to me. I would have tried to roll it up on the 10. I play a little better than you, though. I mean, I'm a decent one pocket player. I should know that stuff, Kenny. I'm, I'm obviously lacking. <laughs> Jeez. That, that's wow. a great shot, right? Hell yeah. I mean, he's. So simple, too, huh? It's big, isn't right. it? Well, you know, a long-standing theory has been when you're in a difficult situation, a really tough situation, look for something simple to do. Of course. 
and he he knew he was going to be here after he did that. Edgy, he knew he was going to you know be he, he risking wants. being on two, but he had to do what he did sure. the last shot to preserve the rack and keep if it alive. If he can, he can. If he can miss the nine here, he can he can go two rails two two behind it, three rails two rails behind it. Billiard shot here. That's what I'm he's looking at. I'm wondering if uh, if he goes behind the yeah. nine. He's calling he the one here. He's going two rails behind the one. He's yeah. going to the side rail behind the nine, and then two rails right behind the one. Much bigger ball. He, he, if he hits the one full in the face, it could kiss in off the four. Oh, he hit the ten. He's on two now, and the cue ball, and I mean the one ball is right by the four. Yeah. Skyler could uh, go for the three foul here. He's got a good shot to do it. You know, the only the, the reason I think I might consider that is Are the they three is the foul? oh yeah okay that's right. is is the position of the seven ball. Even though the six will get you there nicely if you're straight in on it. I mean, right. you can do that. I mean, look, he can always start the run out and then go for a safe, but he but won't he's have got a real good right. Safe he's here. got the dead nut he lock behind the, the four. in below the ten and seven here and cut off all angles. If he just right. backs him behind the four, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Well, but okay. but the run out's laying really good, you know, now well, that I look at it. It's laying really good. It's not laying really good. Well seven, it's gonna the one to the funny. Yeah, but if he's straight in on the six well, and the five and there. well the five the five, the five will lay good, good to get you to the six, right? Yeah, if you get there. But the four's laying good to the five. Right. So that's big. Right. And the three is, you right. know, you can play a stop shot, even have a little distance and I, still be okay. I like this. Absolutely. Yeah, I yes. think it's the right decision. Yeah. If the seven were less accessible, the three foul would have come into play. His finger is. Ooh. I don't like this angle. He's going to roll it. Take the cut. Yep, okay. It was, wasn't as steep as it looked. Five to two. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking, he still doesn't feel comfortable with the five-two lead. I mean, he's feeling good. Sure, but of course. I mean, I had Bergman, Justin Bergman, five to nothing, and I didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I had him five to zero, and I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. I mean, that's just how you feel against these guys. Let's see if he makes another adjustment here on his brake speed, Scott. He's gone too long and too short. So now if he can find the sweet spot. He broke him good last time. He got hooked from the six. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He was down there with the, and then he uh, played the one reel kick on but the one wasn't ball. Wasn't that this game? The game that just completed? Yeah, Didn't it might he have break been. him? Didn't Skyler break him? Didn't Skyler break him this last game? And no. And the ball? No, I think... Uh, I think Edgy oh no, broke okay, dry. Yes, yes. Edgy broke dry, and that's where where it wound up. 